हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेक्चर ऑन रिफ्रैक्शन इन अ प्रिज्म दिस इज अ प्रिज्म ए बी सी देर आर थ्री सरफेसेस ए बी बी सी एन ए सी इफ आर रे ऑफ लाइट P Q incident at point Q on a surface AB and for surface AB the normal is given by and for surface AC normal at point Q with an angle I I incident angle for a ray of light PQ the medium is air and for medium is glass and two is denser so if a ray of light passing through rarer medium to denser medium then it bends towards the normal then it bend towards the normal with angle r1 and further it may incident at surface ac at a point r with incidence angle r2 then ray of light travel from denser medium to rarer medium if a ray of light travel from denser medium to rarer medium then it will moves away from a normal so this is r as refracted ray and this is incident ray that is a point n n1 normal for surface ab and n2 normal for surface ac okay this is angle e emergent angle or we can say refracted angle for surface ac now if i am talking about a quadrilateral a q n r a q n r then the sum of a quadrilateral is given by 360 degree and angle a plus angle a q n plus angle q n r plus angle q n r plus angle n r a is equal to 360 but we know that angle a q n and n r a is equal to 90 degree why because angle made by a normal so angle a plus angle q n r equal to 180 degree okay so there is a deviation for incident ray pq that is given by delta point m because the actual the original path of for pq is pqm but for change in medium due to the change in medium the pq deviate with an angle delta and also the rs deviate with an angle delta so delta is given by angle of deviation because there is a deviation of angle delta for pq so the angle m q r is given by i minus r1 because this is the vertical opposite angle the total angle is a vertical opposite angle and equal to i so the portion for that is given by i minus r1 S same here this is e due to the vertical opposite angle and the portion is given by e minus r2 e minus r2 so from triangle Q N R from triangle Q N R. I am talking about triangle Q N R. The sum of triangle, the angles of a triangle is given by 180 degree. Hence, angle R one plus R two is equal to R one plus R two plus angle Q N R is equal to 180 degree. This is equation number two. So from equation one. And equation two from equation one and equation two. If we compare the equations, 
then we get angle R1 plus angle R2 is equal to angle A. What is angle A denote here? Angle of prism. So angle R1 plus angle R2 is equal to angle A. This is equation number 3. Now the total deviation delta delta is a deviation for an incident ray PQ then delta is given by delta is an exterior angle for a triangle MQR if you can see like this this is a delta point M Q and R this angle is given by I minus R1 this angle is given by E minus R2 so from the exterior angle theorem in mathematics what we get the exterior angle of any kind of triangle is equal to sum of two interior angles so exterior angle is delta is sum of two interior angles that is i minus r1 plus e minus r2 so deviation total deviation is given by delta is equal to i minus r1 plus e minus r2 or we can say i plus e minus r1 plus r2 and we know that the value of r1 plus r2 is a from equation 3 so delta is equal to i plus e minus a a is angle of prism so for minimum deviation or we can say add the minimum deviation at the minimum deviation delta is denoted by dm deviation minimum minimum deviation means if there is a prism if a ray of light incident at any surface of a prism then it travel and without any kind of deflection or without any kind of refraction this is the minimum deviation so this is an ideal case and not possible so we assume that at minimum deviation angle I is equal to angle E and angle R1 equal to angle R2 angle I equal to angle E and angle R1 equal to angle R2 so from angle R1 plus angle R2 equal to angle A if we apply R1 R2 then R1 plus R1 equal to A R1 equal to A by 2 or same R2 equal to A by 2 this is a special case for only for minimum deviation now we know that delta is equal to I plus E minus A for minimum deviation delta is given by DM and I equal to E then I plus I minus A then DM equal to 2I minus A and the value of I is equal to a plus dm by 2 now the refractive index of prism so if we get the value of i and r we can easily find out the value of or we can finally out um, easily find out the refractive index of a prism so refractive index of prism is given by due to snell's law n21 equal to n2 by n1 is equal to n2 that angle r because we know that the snell's law is given by n2 by n1 is equal to sin i upon sin r this is snell's law then sin i value of i is a plus dm whole divided by 2 and r sin r sin a by 2 so you have to remember the formula for refractive index of a prism this is important one the second one is deviation this is important one and the third one is incident angle at minimum deviation given by i equal to a plus gm by 2 now dispersion by a prism 
Dispersion is the splitting of light into its component colors and the pattern of colors components of light is called a spectrum. So this is a prism. If a white light incident, if a white light incident at surface A B of a prism, then it splits into its different colors and the splitting behavior depends on the wavelength of a color. So color is associated with wavelength of light. In the visible spectrum we know that red light is at a long wavelength that is 700 nanometer and the violet is 400 nanometer. So the spectrum associated with the wavelength of a light violet red the different component color is sequent are violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red we can say vibgyor the red light bends the leads if there is normal for surface ab if a white light incident at a b then at a point r or at a point s refraction occur and refraction occur then the white light split into its different colors the first one is red why because red have more wavelength and it bent least so this is red the second one is orange the third one is yellow green blue indigo and violet so we can say vibgyor when a narrow beam of sunlight is incident on a glass prism the emergent light is seen to be consisting of several colors okay the different component color in sequence are vibgyor the red light bends the least, red bends least, okay, while the violet light bends the most. White light itself consists of colors which are separated by the prism. Now dispersion takes place because the refractive index of medium for different color is different. Red light band less than work. Remember that refractive index of medium for different colors is different. Now, the angle of minimum deviation from a prism is 37 degree. If the angle of prism is 53, then find the refractive index of a material of a prism. The solution, we know that refractive index of a prism N21 is equal to N2 by N1 is given by sin i upon sin r and the value of i for minimum deviation remember that the author is talking about the minimum deviation minimum deviation means i is given by a plus delta m by 2 and r is given by a by 2 so sine a plus delta m by 2 is 53 plus 37 by 2 and sine a by 2 is 53 by 2 so sine 45 upon sign 26.5 is the answer
always remember the formula for minimum deviation angle at minimum deviation the refractive index now an equilateral prism is kept in air and for a particular ray angle of minimum deviation is 30 degree calculate the minimum deviation if the prism is immersed in water refractive index of water is 1.33 so first of all the minimum deviation minimum deviation for minimum deviation refraction refractive index is given by sin i upon sin r or we can say the medium for angle incident that is ng because it is talking about glass and air there are two cases the first one is for air glass and the second one is for water glass if I am talking about the case first then ng by na is equal to sin 60 plus 38 by 2 upon sin 30 why I am using 60 degree here because it is saying the equilateral prism equilateral prism means angle for prism is equal to 60 degree and angle A which is known as the angle of prism is equal to 60 degree then sin A 60 plus 38 by 2 and 60 by 2 ok now we know that the refractive index for air is equal to 1 then A and G 30 30 that is 30 then NG is given by sin 60 plus 30 90 by 2 sin 45 by sin 30 or we can say 2 now when prism is immersed in water prism is immersed in water if prism is immersed in water then ng by nw is equal to sin 60 plus delta m then calculate the angle of minimum deviation so minimum deviation is delta m sin 60 plus delta m by 2 upon sin 30 now nw is equal to 1.33 given in question and we know that the value of ng that is 2 approximate although the value of ng the refractive index of glass is near about 1.5 but according to questions it get 2 so don't confuse with the values ok the 2 upon 1.33 is equal to sin 60 plus delta m by 2 whole divide by sin 30 value of sin 30 is 0 0.5 sin 60 plus delta m whole divide by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 into 2 upon 1.33 and the value of dm is equal to value of dm then sin 60 plus delta m by 2 sin inverse 1 upon 1.33 or dm is equal to sin 2 sin inverse 1 upon 1.33 minus 60 this is the answer Thank you for watching this video.